and welcome to Weekend Projects. I'm Bree Pettis, and every week I bring a project that you can make over the weekend. And make gifts are the best. This week I'm going to show you how to make two kinds of ornaments. The first kind is this really awesome Tensegrity thingamajig. In order to make your dorktacular geektastic ornament, you're going to need six small rubber bands, six big rubber bands, and six straws. The first thing we need to do is we're going to make these a little bit shorter than the length of the rubber bands. Then it's time to cut notches in the end of the straws. There's two rubber bands for each pair of straws and you want to do this with each little pair. Now it should basically look like a 3D plus sign and now it's time to add the big rubber bands. Each rubber band goes across a straw and then up to two other straws to look like a bridge. Once you've got it all together like this, it's time to cut off the little rubber bands. Now you've got your own geek decoration ornament. It's really cool and it's kind of springy. If you move one set, everything moves. It's, that's really cool. If one of the straws bends, go ahead and just replace it. It's lost its structural integrity. My dad studied with Buckminster Fuller and taught me all about tensegrity, but I was reminded of this project at Maker Faire Austin, where Muse came up with this idea of doing it with straws and rubber bands. Make sure to check out his website. The next nerd ornament we're going to make is an icosahedron made out of 20 circles. You're going to start by recycling a magazine and taking two or three pages out of it. Our goal is to have 20 circles that are folded into equilateral triangles. You can do this by finding the center of a circle and then folding the edges into the center so that each edge is the same. Once you've got 20 of them, you're going to go ahead and staple them together. This project is almost exactly like the picnic geometry project I did last year where I made an icosahedron out of paper plates. The same thing applies here. You're going to make two hats of five and one belt of ten and then put it all together. The first one I made is a little bit big. The second one I made out of report covers and I have to say the plastic was kind of hard to work with. I'm not sure I would recommend doing this. The third one though out of this recycled material was really the best and it's got interesting colors and it's actually got, it's pretty interesting to look at. Now I want to see the nerd ornaments that you come up with. These are a really great simple gift or you can hang them on the tree or, or just have them as something cool on your desk. Okay, go out there, make some awesome nerd ornaments. Have a great weekend.